Hi and welcome to my beauty channel. So today I want to make this gorgeous look. This is just about glow. So today I want to show you how I got this really nice illuminated skin. I got a little bit sun-kissed bronzer in there and at the same time I played with a lot of different highlighters just to give this look a really nice sun-kissed glow. So as you know I have arrived here in LA and I know it has been a while since I made a video. I promise you a video every Wednesday but last week I made a video for you guys and something just happened that I really just couldn't show that video to you guys because it wasn't true to what I believe in and what I make videos of so it's very important for me to have my heart in everything I do when I show it to you guys because I'm a professional when I work as a makeup artist and I would never recommend or do anything that would harm or just make other people's skin, hair, face, whatever look horrible. So I took the video off and that's why I'm a week late but here's a video and I really hope you will enjoy it. So the first step I want to do is to mix my foundation with some illuminating fluids and this will just give my skin a really nice natural glow. I mix my foundation with a luminizer. This is the foundation I will use today. It's the soft fluid foundation from Le Mer. And then I will mix with my nude air luminizer from Dior. And then I'm just gonna apply that to the face. So I always just add the foundation with my brush. And then I blend it out with my beauty blender. So as you can see, the foundation has this really nice soft glow to it. And as you probably also see, um, my skin is a little bit more tanned right now. And that's because I added a few drops of one of my absolute favorite products. So this is the NARS Laguna Liquid Bronzer. And what I do with this is I just add one or two drops into my foundation mix and then blend it all out in the face. What that does is that it gives this really nice natural tanned glow and I love using that especially if I have been tanning my body or if for example right now I'm in LA so the weather is a little bit better than in Denmark and your foundation and skin type they don't always match together so it's really nice to have a bronzer that can kind of give you that little nice tan you really want and that can just really help you out. Okay, so to give it a little bit more bronziness, I will go in and add a cream bronzer. So this is the Creamy Touch Bronzer from Neil & Shore. And it's just really nice to put on your face. If you feel like your skin is just looking dull and boring, like if it's winter in Denmark, I will absolutely use this, but also to enhance that really nice tan you can get in the summer. So this is perfect for me today because as I said, I'm in LA. The sun is shining outside, why not give this look a little sun kissedness? So what I will do is actually just give a little bit to the cheeks and I put this all over the cheeks. I put it on the cheekbones, on the apple of my cheek, just all over. It really gives, look at this, it really gives a nice glow. So just mix that into I love this one. I like putting a little bit on the nose as well. See how pretty that is? Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. And now to a cream highlighter. So this one I just got and why I like this color is because it adds a little girliness and a little illuminous to this look. So this is the Bright Idea Illuminating Stick from NYX. This is a color Pearl Pink Lace. So as you can see, this has a little pinkness to it. And that will just give this look a little bit more softness. This is just super cute. Like my whole face is pretty much illuminated right now. So I will just go in and add a little bit of powder so it doesn't look like your whole head is shining like a disco ball, but just the right places. It looks like this. It's called the Naked Skin Shape Shifter. And this is the Light Medium Shift. 
the funny story about this one is that this is kind of heavy I opened it up the first time and what I saw was these really gorgeous colors in powder and then this really heavy mirror and I was like okay so this is really nice but normally like why why is the bottom the mirror and the top the powder like it didn't make any sense but I didn't really think about it so I started using this powder for quite some time like at least like two weeks and then suddenly I don't know what happened but I found out that you could actually open this is a two piece in one so you have the powder and you have the cream colors and this is just like I love this product because I'm actually more into the cream based products but sometimes when it comes to contouring and shaving your face and just adding a finish to your face I really like using powders because then I feel like I set my skin but this is just so cool I have two options and this made me feel even more in love with this but what we will do is just contour the face a little bit just to give it some bronzeness to it I know we did already a lot of bronzeness but this is how I like to finish up my skin first I'm going in with a little shape pencil and I'm using the light brown and you have to be careful with this product because it's super pigmented so that means that a little product goes a long way see like I even dab that off and it's still coming on so heavy well this is not something negative it's just to warn you guys and I always brush upwards because I start by where my cheekbone is hard and then I leave this area a little bit lighter. See, that's a nice shadow. And we'll just bring a little bit to the forehead just because that's where the sun will touch your skin at the first time so this will look very natural. And again, just on the tip of the nose. And what I will do now is to choose the light color in this palette. And then I will add it to the places that are a little bit shiny right now. So I want to lighten them up to give that kind of light glow face. But I don't want them to shine too much. So I go in with a little brush because it's easy to get into all the spaces. I do a little bit in the T-zone. Then I will do under the brows just a bit. Then I will go into the sides of the nose. You can see the difference from these sides. So this is a little bit more, we have the glow the right place. And then we have a little bit more matte area where here everything is just glowy. <laughs> so this side we will do too. And then I always like to do under the eye because this really lights them up and hides small lines. And then a little bit on the cheek. So there it goes. We have really a nice glow, a nice fresh looking skin, but without it all shining everywhere. So that's really nice. So sometimes people feel like this creamy highlighter is not enough. I like to just keep the skin looking fresh and hydrated. But if you really want to shine or if you want to use this look maybe for going out or to dinner or something, you can always give it a little bit extra glow. So why not use the Afterglow from Urban Decay? These colors are to die for. Like, look at them. This is just pure godness colors. So what you can do is just go in with a finger, dab a little bit of the color you want because you don't want too much and then just apply it on top of where we put the highlighter. Like see, barely touch it, but look at that glow. That is also something I do sometimes. I will apply a creamy highlighter as the base and then I will top it up with a powdered highlighter because this will really give you a nice glow. And no, it won't cake unless you put like layers and layers and layers and nobody should do that. So never put anything creamy after you put the powder. So what I want to do when I finish this look is just to give my colors and my cheek a little bit of glow because this will just make the look a little bit more natural especially when putting something creamy blushiness on your cheeks. So what I love to use is a lipstick from Lipstick Queen. So this is the lipstick and this is the Frog Prince. And here you can see why it's called the Frog Prince because this is green. What this will do is when you come in contact with your skin, 
it will make the perfect color for your skin tone. So I apply a bit on the lips and what I always love to do is put a little bit on the cheeks and then just dab it into the skin with my finger. This will just give this fresh rosiness look to your skin. So there you go, a really nice glowy bronzy look and I really hope you loved this one. Of course I used a lot of products today but it's just to show you different ways that you can make your skin a little bit more illuminating, give it the right glow and maybe give a little bit of bronze sun-kissed look. And I rarely use all of these products at the same time but I love to play with them and try and mix one product with another and see what the outcome will be. I am sorry that it took a while to get a video out to you after I moved here to LA but I hope you could use this one and please always comment what you want to see from me and I will of course try and make the videos for you. So please subscribe to my channel and follow my blog in the link below and I will see you next week.